I don't know, just I put too much pressure on myself. Quincy Jones calls it paralysis from analysis. Mm -hmm. And what happened was there's such a long time between me releasing something like two years that I put so much pressure on myself that this next thing had to be so groundbreaking right. that I just didn't finish anything right. for, for about two or three years. And I, I couldn't pay the bills. Yeah, it was tough. And it was weird. It's like I desperately need to make a living, but I just couldn't release any music. I couldn't finish any music. There's that point that most acts and artists, electronic acts, will go through. When you're purely centered around the finished result, there's a lot of pressure on you, a lot of pressure. I was getting too analytical and too bogged down in perceptions of what other DJs thought. And then I just thought, like, fuck it. <laughs> so I've never been 100% happy with anything I've ever done ever like don't strive for that strive for like 80 percent you're 80 percent i mean come on if that's what you're putting out i got I, I don't even hear 80 percent like i hear 80 percent about one in ten it's so weird uh, a lot of the stuff i can't even remember the process hmm. i remember this, the setting like which bedroom was i making in or which studio was i in athletes have a flow state where they just switch off their conscious mind mm -hmm. it's the same with music and when you ended that flow state, that's when you tend to get a lot, a lot done. I kind of found a pattern for me that tends to encourage that. And that is try to make three, four, five ideas a day, put them in a folder, do the same next day, do the same next day, do that five days a week, do it again next week, do it again next week. At the end of the month, just put the ones that sound good in, a, in another folder, finish them. Mm -hmm. So you're just constantly throwing paint at the canvas rather than procrastinating about that hi-hat. I'm preaching this, I'm not the ex, I, I need to release more music. But I also understand my worst enemy is myself. And it's, and it's the same for any artist. If you said three to five ideas in a day, how long are these snippets that you're bouncing up to your iTunes? I mean, it could be anything from 16 bars to 64 bars. It depends, it depends what's needed, you know, and then just don't listen to it for a month or two months. You know, the hard bit is, um, right. is, is finishing. With duality, I started bunching together what kind of work together. Man, I got like, <laughs> I got like 10 things that sound like need you 100%. I got hmm. about 30 ocean drives. Probably not gonna be as successful as ocean drive, but right. it's the similar baseline, right. similar Juno. The most important thing is that it does have, it has a feeling. The whole point of doing what we do is to create some kind of emotional response to the listener mm -hmm. and yourselves. I mean, start with, with yourself, you know, be honest with yourself and just hope that other people have that emotional response. I keep it very simple. I just, I just do what's, what I think sounds good. Like the only consistency I've had in the last 10, 20 years is, is, the mu is music, is making music right. and, and enjoying it. And regardless of, you know, success or lack of success. I, I will always do it. Yeah, I've, I've, you know, I love, love doing what I do. Hit down.